Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello, I'm Naomi Robson and welcome to the show. And I'm joined by psychologist Eve Ash to discuss today when criticism in a relationship actually becomes abuse. Now, Eve, it is common, isn't it? And mostly you'd call it emotional abuse, wouldn't you? It is. And uh, it's when people feel really upset by the things that the partner says to them. So what sort of things constitute emotional abuse, this kind of this critical well, nature of discussions, if you like? It, it's criticism, but it's actually repeated criticism. And it's especially if the person has asked for that not to be said, because the reality is criticism, if it's given well, is actually very good for us mm. because it helps us improve. And a loved one, a partner, should probably be a great one to be able to give us critical, constructive, yeah, constructive criticism. Yeah. criticism. And some people might be sensitive to that, but if you say that's hurtful when somebody says things about you to you in front of other people and they do it repeatedly, that it, it's abusive. But it's constant berating as well, isn't it? I mean, you've, we've all seen relationships where one or the other, and it's not just men, um, criticising women, it's women criticising men, but it's this constant berating, belittling the other person, um, intimidating them, if you like. But the problem with that is that invariably people don't stick up for themselves, do they? Because with emotional abuse it undermines your self-esteem, doesn't it? Exactly, and, and it often happens when somebody's not assertive and then they lose their perspective. And they may have started a little bit assertive, but they lose mm. their perspective and then they back right down and then they just really fold inwards and get very hurt. And often it's that person is using it in such a controlling way. Um, really, I, I find it quite frightening when I hear the kinds of emotional abuse that people go through in their relationships. Friends and family can often observe this, can't they? They often see the picture from the outside and, and might actually reflect to their loved one, look, you're not being treated very well. This person is abusing you. And we probably need to li listen to them in those sort of cases, don't we? Yeah, and we tend not to because we get upset by it. But in fact, it's likely that they love you very much, mm. your friends and your family. And the best we can say is to really take heed of that because especially if more than one is telling you and if four or five are telling you, then you've got a blind spot. So what can people do about this? Because what can happen when someone is being emotionally abused, they can get to the point where they feel they're worthless, can't they? Look, the most important thing is to talk to someone, to share that. And it doesn't have to be a counsellor, but a friend who you really can say, I feel bad, and to make a commitment to, to make this change. Now, it means making a request of the person to stop and deciding it may be that I am in the wrong relationship. Mm. And that's a really hard decision. But if you are being to constantly emotionally abused, put down, belittled, you are not in a good relationship. What are some of the things that people might be hearing, might be being told, so that they can get a bit of an idea of the kind of phrases that people use to put other people down. What are some of those things? That well, they may busy? be about weight. Mm. They may be about the person's intellect. You're mm. so dumb. Yep. You know, you're so stupid. I think they're very common ones. You're so fat. So mm. things about their appearance, about their intellect, you know, you're so slow, you know, you're so pathetic. Mm. You know, often they're generalisations. Um, they might even have always in front of them. You're yep. always this, you're always that. Um, and what can make it even worse is doing it in front of other people, which is, you know, even a step beyond. And uh, it's just, it's shocking. It is. And, and look, I mean, I've certainly seen it happen in, in friends' relationships. So that people understand what kind of effect can it have on people? You start to get a lot quieter mm. than your normal self. Tiredness can happen, mm -hmm. um, losing motivation to do things, so maybe dropping things that you would normally do, seeing friends, doing things that you would normally do, suddenly pulling back from those and justifying but not noticing the picture. 
Um, if, if it's about eating, it may be that you start eating more mm. so that you start dysfunctional eating or you start not eating and losing too much yes. weight. So it can really have quite a severe impact and ultimately depression can be very closely linked with, with that and certainly loss of self-esteem we know. Mm. So what can people do? What should they be doing if they feel that, yep, yeah, my partner is constantly criticising me, it does hurt my feelings, I am starting to withdraw, I can notice that my self-esteem has dropped. What can they do about that? Different people respond to different things. It could be a friend that you talk to who's a really positive person. It could be that you start reading self-help books and realise you're not the only one and there are strategies. Seeing a counsellor, all really good tactics. Well thank you for that Eve and obviously in your book Rewrite Your Relationships you actually have a chapter that would be very helpful for people in this sort of situation. It's called Reclaiming Your Power when your relationship is dysfunctional or toxic which obviously an emotionally abusive relationship is um, and there seems to be no way out scripts to rescue yourself so check that out it's called Rewrite Your Relationships it's by Eve Ash. Thanks so much for that Thanks. and we'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.